Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try one of these new um, Timber Ridge Farms handheld pot pies. A pot pie with savory white chicken and vegetables. Microwave oil ready in three minutes. This is a savory white chicken flavor. We bought these at Kroger. They were $4.49, which is not cheap necessarily, but we'll see how good they are. Um, made with chicken raised without antibiotics, no artificial flavors or colors. There's one pie in the box. Let's see. 380 calories for one pie. Sodium's not too bad for, the, for what we're getting. Okay, so the directions are up here. Um, I have thawed this. I've put it in the refrigerator and let it thaw overnight so it's not frozen anymore. So we're gonna open one into overwrap, place wrapped pot pie um, top side down on a microwave safe plate. Heat for, if thawed, heat for one minute or until heated throughout and let it sit for a minute and then remove from the microwave and enjoy. So. Let's see what this looks like. I, I opened the box a little bit just so I could get to it better so I don't fight with it. Okay, it says open one end of o wrap and place the package, the place wrapped pot pie top side down. So I'm assuming that's the top, so we're just going to flip it upside down. That's weird. That's what it says to do. Place wrap hot pie and set upside down microwave safe plate. Yeah. Okay, well, I'm gonna open one end of this, put it in on this paper plate, which is my microwave safe plate, and get it in the microwave for a minute. I'll be back. Hey, here it is out of the microwave. All I did was take the plastic off, and it's uh, it's very soft right now. I don't see how in the world you could possibly pick this up with your hand. It's very soft and uh, doughy. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably get a fork. I hate to say that. I know it's a handheld pot palm. But I don't want to get this all over the place, so I'm going to get a fork. I'll be right back. All right, I got a fork just to cut it into pieces. Um, this is what it looks like. It's kind of a squishy, doughy, um, almost like a pastry, like a breakfast, like a sweet pastry. It's kind of doughy and squishy. Um, doesn't look like there's a ton of filling in here, but, but we'll see. So I'm going to take a bite. Here we go. The filling is definitely a... Um, a pot pie taste. I mean, it definitely has that flavor of pot pie. Um, you get the chicken, you get the peas, the vegetables, the gravy. You get all that. I don't think I like the pastry on the outside because I, when you eat a pot pie, at least I, when I eat pot pie, I like that crispy um, pie crust. I mean, it literally is like a pie crust. This is literally more like a doughy, mushy, um, I'm trying to just get a good description of it. Like a, like a half cooked roll or a biscuit. I mean, it's not like it's, like it's not cooked all the way. Uh, although it is, that's just the texture of the dough. And the flavor of the dough is weird. It's not a, um, it's not a traditional like a pie crust kind of flavor. It's more like a pastry uh, flavor. It's, it's almost has a sweet flavor to it. Um, I'm gonna give this one a two. I wouldn't mind eating it. I mean, I'll, I'll probably finish this for lunch, but but as far as buying it again, I wouldn't buy it again, and, and I don't necessarily recommend you buy it unless you like a sweet pot pie and you're missing that, that crust. Um, it does not give oven directions on here at all. So for those of you saying it probably better in the oven, it doesn't give oven directions. Uh, matter of fact, it just says to, for best results, thaw in the refrigerator for 24 hours before trying it, which I did. Um, and it just says microwave heating directions. There is no, uh, there are no oven directions. So if you're thinking oven directions would, the oven would make it crisper, which it probably would. Um, it's, they don't have it. It would benefit from some kind of crisping sleeve or something, something to crisp it up a little bit. It's, it's really mushy um, and doughy. So anyway, definitely a two. I got shade of mine there. I would not recommend you buy it, at least this one. Um, I don't know. Hopefully other ones are better. So I hope you enjoy this video and thanks for watching. This is a follow-up. I want to show you how doughy this is. Look at this. When you stick your fork through there, that's the dough. And you can see, you see how doughy and, and squishy it is. Um, not firm at all. It's like they didn't cook it all the way. I don't know. It's weird. But anyway, catch you next time.